wear a double pole plant, it should be a part of your skiing basically forever. But especially when you're when you're working on your technique in the early years and fundamental years of your racing career, it's really important to emphasize getting a four double pole plant. No matter what drill you're doing, as long as you have poles, you should be planting them. And even if you don't have poles, you should still be flicking your wrist. But in order to get a really good four double pole plant, you want to have your arms just in a solid forward position anyway and then it's not so much of a movement of your arms to plant your pole but just a flick of your wrist that kind of gets that tempo going and as long as your arms are up and forward then your whole body will be in a stronger position when you drive your arms forward you tend to be more for on the front of your boots and not on the front of your skis and when you're actually planting your pole that helps a lot with moving forward and transition and getting to a good athletic position I know when I'm skiing slalom, sometimes it feels like it's too fast to actually do a pole plant, but when it gets in tricky conditions, tricky snow or a steep hill, my go-to move is to do a pole plant. And I remember Levy last year, I actually, we were free skiing the hill and it was really steep. Didn't pole plant, I was a sloppy with my arms and it didn't feel that great. And the next run, I really pole planted my poles. I moved forward onto my new ski and I came to an athletic position and all of a sudden it clicked and I could I could really make slalom radius turns down a steep injected pitch for 20 turns in a row. So that pole plan is kind of my go-to move whenever I'm in trouble and I still try to do it every single turn when I free skate. Across the line and she gets it, Schiffman with room to breathe.